Welcome to part two of my series on how to create a dynamic map in Excel. In part one, we showed you how to trace the states or countries or whatever the case is for your application. So if you haven't watched that, I would strongly encourage it as that's probably the most time consuming part of the process. You may not be able to tell it from uh, my poor tracings. I was doing this really fast during part one, uh, but this is supposed to be the United Kingdom. Scotland, England, Wales, Ireland, and Northern Ireland. And so on this video I want to focus on uh, the metrics uh, used for your dynamic range and also creating the list box that you can actually uh, select which uh, criteria or which category you want to display. And this will control the macros for the appropriate shading of your countries. So what I've added here, I added after I created part one. So I have my countries listed here. So Northern Ireland, Ireland, England, and Wales, Scotland, etc. I have a metrics column, and you'll want to leave that blank for now. And then I thought uh, just to grab some numbers out of the air here. So I have total population, employed, and unemployed. And so now we need to create a selector box and then also click or uh, uh, create the labels uh, for each individual country that will change based on whatever selection you make. You'll see here I've made a box here called selector items and this will feed into our list box that we're going to create. So the only thing you need to uh, really know about this is you need to uh, indicate all of the possible options for someone to use for the list box. So to create a list box you'll want to go under developer in Excel and go under insert and find the list box. And we'll just put it right here and you'll be able to move this around later as well so this is just for demonstration purposes but let's leave it here right click on the list box then click on format control and the first thing we need to tell it is what um, options to give the users and so in other words uh, what names uh, so in this case it's going to be all employed and unemployed this is what we have here right so we're going to uh, link in the input range so that's again you're going to tell it what options to provide so we can just click on that trace down all of your available options enter and then we're going to link a cell and basically uh, the link is going to whatever option the user selects it's going to put a specific number in the cell of your cho choosing and this will make more sense in a second but for this instance I'm gonna click cell range or input and click on or just above the metrics tab because remember this is gonna be this is with this is gonna house all of the metrics that are actually displayed so this will be comprised mostly of formulas and we need to tell it um, where to look for that cell link okay and again this will make a uh, much more sense here in a second Okay, so you can see the options are all employed, unemployed, and then of course you can attempt to make that a little bit uh, more attractive. And so the idea is they can click on each individual metric. And you'll notice where I put that box, and let me just highlight it, depending on what I select in the list box, it enters a different number. And also if you'll notice, this is also uh, coinciding with what I have here. So all is always going to be one, employed two, unemployed three. So let's click on unemployed, and then three is here. Okay. And so we can add a just a little label. Again, you can kind of play around with it and make it look more attractive. All right, and the next step is to add 
uh, labels for each of the countries, and these labels will be dynamic. So it's, we're going to reference it to the corresponding row for the country, and whatever uh, number appears in here will automatically show up in the country label. And this is actually just uh, an easy text box where you input a formula. So let's click on Insert Text Box. And we'll add one for Scotland. And then you need to go up to the formula bar here. Equal. And then this is uh, row L. So this is L10. And then you can click the little checkbox. And so now, whatever number appears in there, you'll see shows up here. Okay. So let's just uh, format this a little bit. Right, now we need to create them for the rest and uh, to make it easy you can just create copies so control or right right click copy and then paste and then we can apply one for each country but then you need to go to each individual one and change the corresponding so this is L 12, right? Yep. Uh, for Wales will be L13. Ireland will be L11. And actually Scotland is L14, so I made a mistake there. Okay. So once, you, once numbers appear in here, they will automatically pop up to these. And you can play with the formatting, whatever kind of suits you. So I know that works. And so for the smaller countries, in this particular case, you can add arrows um, if the numbers won't fit uh, on the countries themselves. So we'll just enter insert illustrations shapes and we'll just add a uh, an arrow and then of course you can format the arrow just like that okay so now we need to tell these cells uh, which number to pull. And so we want this cell to either have total population, employed or unemployed, based on the selector box. And so remember, the this box will change the data for this, right? And so we can say equals. If this cell equals 1, then we want this data set. If this cell equals 2, then we want this data set. Or if this equals 3, we want this data set. Okay. And we want to make sure we uh, tell it that uh, always to uh, follow this cell. So you do that with um, F4. And you'll see the little dollar signs pop up. That's telling it, even if you paste that formula somewhere else, it will always capture that reference that same cell. And now let's format this a little bit better. And so we can try it here. So all, let's grab it 2,000, 
employed uh, 1.5, unemployed 500,000. And then you can, we should just be able to trace this down. And so everything changing accordingly, it changes here, and then it changes uh, in the text boxes as well. All right, so let me stop there. And uh, the part three for the series will focus, uh, start focusing on um, the macros for uh, shading that will come into play.